JBN, we keep you informed. Is there a scandal brewing in the St. Anne Municipal Corporation? Blessed love my viewers and subscribers. This morning I woke up to this news in regards to a situation in the St. Anne Municipal Corporation. Now recently, everybody would have been aware of the Manchester Municipal Corporation fraud trial that those persons were found guilty. Now listen to this. The Chief Executive Officer, the CEO of the St. Anne Municipal Corporation, Ravel Morris, said that a plug-in facility that was installed to charge the personal hybrid Porsche of the mayor, his worship the mayor, Michael Bell Nevis, has been removed. So the council had installed a charge for Mr. Bell Nevis's Porsche at the expense of the taxpayers. So they said for weeks, tongues have been working about the, the facility that um, was installed to charge the mayor's Porsche. I don't know how many persons in St. Anne driving around in the mayor's Porsche that we should stand this cost. If the mayor wants to drive a, a hybrid Porsche, then he should install his own charging facility. Now, before I get into this, because this is not where the real scandal might be coming from. The mayor is worship the mayor, Michael Bell Navis, presently earns from the council $225,087 per month. Now, a Porsche, a basic Porsche at ATL Automotive Group starts at $27.5 million. Yes, some people are going to say Mr. Bell Nevis is a businessman, which of course he is. But a $27.5 million Porsche is what? That's a basic price for a Porsche at ATL Automotive Group. And the mayor owns one. And they want the taxpayers now to install a facility, a plug-in facility, because you know it's hybrid, so it, it uses electricity to charge. Now, this electricity that this charging port is using would also be a bill that is the taxpayers will have to foot. Now, I don't know if you find this ridiculous, but I find it very, very ridiculous. So the mayor get $200,000 a month for pay. He gets allowance, housing allowance of $329,080 per year housing allowance now to be a mayor you don't need any formal qualifications academic qualifications well a poor nurse and a poor teacher who has to go to college has to be trained the basic pay for a nurse is ninety thousand the basic pay for a teacher is a hundred and two thousand which means that we these people will never ever be able to buy a porsche now this man is driving around in a hybrid porsche and wants the taxpayers to pay the electricity bill but what Morris is saying, because this was said in Parliament yesterday to the Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee, that the charging port has been taken down. Yes, why? Because people start making noise about it. So if nobody had, no noise was made about it, it would still have been there. Because he's saying that people are saying that the electricity cost to charge, to charge the Porsche is being um, footed by the St. Anne Municipal Corporation, which is denying the claims that that is so. But if it, is, if it was put there, and he's charging his vehicle there, then we, we must assume I'm going to pay that the cost. So Mr. Morris told the committee yesterday that the charging port has been taken down and all the costs that were associated with the installation will be recovered. Now the cost for that installation was $80,000 for one person. One person is costing the poor little taxpayers. If we don't pay a tax, them same one send bail if and all kind of summons come our yard if we don't pay taxes. $80,000 to in install the facility that is only going to be used by the mayor. I don't know if there's any other hybrid vehicles in Ocherias, because I'm not from Ocherias, that would allow other persons to use this port. But for now, it was installed for the purpose of the mayor, Michael Bill Nevis. But that is not where that is not really so much a scandal no because they have taken that down but the public accounts committee the pac sorry was also informed that to clean the town or sections of the town re-covid it cost 46 million dollars a 46 million dollars contract was awarded to raheem cleaning and the trucking limited to carry out cleaning and sanitizing works at eight locations in ocho Saint Anne. now listen to this it said that to clean the Ochoa Spear, has anybody who is listening has ever been to the Ochoa Spear? Because we may go ask one question. It cost $9 million to sanitize and clean the handrails, gates, doors, gate handles, and door handles at the Ochoa Spear. Has anyone ever been to the Ochoa Spear? Are those things made out of brass or they're made out of gold? 
why it would cost so much money to clean them. But they said they paid $9 million just to sanitize and clean the handrails, the gates, the doors, the gate handles, and the door handles that the watch wire spray. No, if you're not so ridiculous to you, really and truly so ridiculous to me. $9 million, $9 million. So they had approached the Tourism Enhancement Fund, the TEF, to request funds in order to do the sanitization of water rice because if you as everybody know it's a tourist resort area but nine million dollars was spent there listen to this at the island village complex where they had cleaned the handrails gates and their door handles and rail guards and seating you know how much it cost us 7.5 million dollars so if we clean them two places they alone are 16.5 million dollars this is ridiculous me say every single day we get a politician take a wall out for fall because the wall will sit down and we just sit down and we, we demonstrate about, about other issues in other countries but we don't demonstrate about issues that are affecting us in our country so the question they asked was who did this so the company that did the cleaning raheem cleaning and the trucking limited is really a legit company this company is based in crossroads st andrew and it is um, the directors that are Raheem Walker and Damian Shirley. But how did the St. Anne Municipal Corporation um, hear about this company? They said that the company which was contracted, the, the, the contract was signed with the company on March 26, 2020. However, the letter of recommendation came weeks later from Fakori. Um, her name is Tracy Fakori. She's a regional operations manager of NEPM Waste Management Limited. Now, I don't know if the name for Corey rings a bell to anybody else, but guess who was, who was also a for Corey? Shaheeni for Corey Robinson. What relation is Tracy for Corey to her? Sh Sh um, Shaheeni was member of parliament in St. Anne. She was a very close friend of Michael Bell Navis. And Tracy for Corey, who recommended the company. No, the company is, is legit legit company of course it came from one of shahini family members I, i'm not sure what relation if it's an in-law uh, uh, uh nee, if it's, that is a niece whatever the relation is but the recommendation came from a Fakori to say here is a company here is a company that yes can do the cleaning and they are now saying that the cleaning costs 40 million dollars this is ridiculous I make every day I then get up and think, say, well, we are full and well, we are either just because we're not really asking nothing. So that is what it costs. Now, Fitzjackson in the meeting came out and said that the Portmore municipality spent a total of $300,000, listen, for carry out cleaning and sanitization of all the major gathering areas in Portmore, Nagohead Transport Center, Waterford Transport Center, Greater Portmore Health Center and Library, and all the bus shelters are all, and all of Portmore Mall. He said the cleaning and sanitization exercise was carried out after the outbreak of the COVID-19 cases at the Alorica Call Center and them spent $300,000. But yet still the St. Anne Municipal Corporation can spend $45 million, $7.5 million for clean one place, $9 million for clean one place. This is ridiculous. And some heads need to roll. You know for this man, every single day we are living as a third world, third world, we are living third world standards. Look, 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 came on the right, that's all. And them are live first world standards. And we there are so much, much million away, educated people, people who are willing to work. And we have to live the third world. It's time hot, you can't even turn on your AC in your house. Because if you turn on your AC, you can't pay a light bill. And then people are just driving around. They may are driving around now, Porsche. Don't get me wrong, I didn't say that. This is where the money come from because I'm going to take me on because I'm going to send me a PMP. But me neither PMP nor JLP. When I knew party, they must start up. But this is ridiculous. For so much money to be spent, 40 odd million dollars to be spent for clean some areas. Not even all a center, you know, but some areas in a center. And this is ridiculous. And Ed's need for all for this. And not only sent uh, um, Manchester Municipal Corporation Friday, a lot of the municipal corporations right around the country. Now, I am going to watch to see how the Honorable Minister Desmond Mackenzie deals with this one, seeing that it is a JLP run municipality. The one in Manchester was PMP run municipality. So I'm going to watch now and see how this one unfolds. So for the time being, me just go sit down with my popcorn and go and watch. And I will keep you updated as to how this
turns out leave me on the comments in the, in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this jbn we keep you informed please remember to subscribe like share leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items